Hey folks, welcome back to the Android Guy. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to root your phone with the most updated version of root. This is gonna be a no data loss method, so all your apps and data are gonna be safe. This is by far the most easiest, quickest and at the same time, the most advanced way to root. Easiest as it is just one file and one process that will root almost any Android device out there and advanced in the sense that it's a systemless root, which means your device will work and feel pretty much like a non-rooted device. Even certain apps and services that would straight up refuse to start on older version of root will now start working. Plus it got mods, auto updates and a ton of other features which we will discuss later in the video. So if your device is rooted with the older version of root like SuperSU or King Root, then we recommend you to unroot your device by following that video and update over to the latest version of root by following this video. So let's get started. Oh, but before we get started, the only requirement for this to work is you will need to have a custom recovery pre-installed on your device. And that's because some devices comes with a logged bootloader, which will prevent any attempts of rooting no matter whatever you try. So installing a custom recovery unlocks your phone and allows you to safely root your device and do all sorts of cool stuff like installing ROMs, mods, you can even update over to the next version of Android before anyone else does and much much more with added safety as you always have the restore option in case anything goes wrong. But the only problem with that is the method to install a custom recovery is device specific. That is, it's different for different devices. So there is no one method that can install a custom recovery on all devices. But the fun fact is, the very first mod that comes out for any device is always the custom recovery. So there are detailed guides online which will help you unlock your device and install a custom recovery. Simply Google search. And make sure that the model number on the guide that you're following matches your device's model number. So if you are lost and do not know where to start with, start by installing a custom recovery. Alright, so once the custom recovery is up and running on your device, let's go ahead and root the phone up. But before we do that, let me show you that my phone is unrooted. If I open up the root checker app, and tap on verify root and yup as you can see it says unrooted but let's go ahead and reconfirm that with another root checker app from the play store again all links are in the description and yup as you can see unrooted as well so let's go ahead and download that one file that can root almost any device running on android version 5.1 lollipop and above which almost all android devices these days come with but however if your device is on a lower version of android that is 4.1 kitkat or below then you can still root the process from here on is exactly the same only the files are different so do watch this video if you are on kitkat or below all right so click on the first link in the description that'll take you to our website and here you will find all details about the magic's root. If you have any questions, the answers are right here. But if you want to quickly get your device rooted, then scroll down and download the latest version of magic's from the download section right here. Now it's a flashable zip file, only around 5 MBs in size, so it should not take long. But most importantly, make sure not to unzip it and let it be as it is. Once the file is downloaded onto your device, you will have to head over to the custom recovery and basically install the file that you just downloaded. So in order to boot into the custom recovery, first of all, completely turn off your phone. Once your phone is completely turned off, boot into the custom recovery by pressing a hardware buttons that usually includes holding the power button with either the volume up or the volume down button. So check the links in the description to find out how to boot into yours. Alright, so once inside the custom recovery, it's pretty simple and straightforward from here on. 
you will basically have to tap on the install button right here then locate and install the file that you just downloaded as simple as that before you do that we at the android guy highly recommend you to take a backup of your android system before performing any major installation activity on the recovery by tapping on the backup option right here because in case if anything goes wrong like say if you forgot to charge your phone and the battery ran out during the process then you can always boot back into the custom recovery tap on the restore button and your device will be back to the way it was again as i said it's the safest way to root so make sure to take a backup first and once that is done you know what to do tap on the install button at the top then navigate over to the root file that you just downloaded it should be in the downloads folder select that then slide to the right and the installation is gonna start the entire installation process is only gonna take a couple of seconds and you are done <laughs> that's about it your device is now unlocked and rooted as simple as that once the rooting process is done restart your device by tapping on the reboot button down here now folks the first boot after rooting can take a couple of seconds extra so be patient all right so once your device has booted up it will exactly look and feel like a non-rooted device unless you open up an app that needs root like the root checker app over here uh, let's tap on the verify root that's the root permission prompt so things look good and yup as you can see this device is now rooted but again let's go ahead and reconfirm that with the root checker app and yup 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 this device is surely rooted again all apps and data are going to be intact with no traces of root except you get a new app called as the magics manager right here so go ahead and open it up and yet again it's a very inconspicuous app there are no traces of root here as well and that's because all the cool stuff is quietly hidden behind the hamburger menu option on the top corner now folks at this point your device is fully rooted which means you can now do everything that was not possible earlier like you can remove bloatwares speed up your device by increasing the cpu speed change the boot animations install thousand types of mods you can also crack and modify apps kick people out of your wi-fi network and much much more so don't forget to watch the second part of this video to learn more about the magic's root and all the cool things that you can do on a rooted phone so yup that's about it for this video if you got to learn something new today then do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And as always, you folks, have a great day.